Well, it's a very cold day today, folks. Let's have a look outside. Frost everywhere. I've been cutting some wood. And uh, what do you say, project man? 280 pound saw out there. Yeah. Left out there, minus five degrees. Uh, whose is it? I've been out there working. He said I've left it out there all night, folks, which I haven't. He's telling fibs again. Sharon's doing the book work, baby. Look at you. Hey, well, Stacey, what have you been doing? Oh, working. Working, Stacey's been working. We got, look, the little fire on there. That's uh, the paraffin burner coming in here. Over here, Dougal, look, blankets everywhere, folks, look. Got a nice roaring fire there. Watching a bit of Northerners on tour again, folks. Check them out, I'll leave the link in the description below. So, yeah, loads going on at the moment, but it's so cold, so cold. So, are we mentioning any on your channel? Well, you can do, yeah. Yeah, Stacey's got a brand new channel coming out. <laughs> now, we obviously do the air fry videos, but we don't do vegetarian stuff. And we've had so many people ask us in the UK for a, a veggie air fryer recipes. So that thought, we thought, well, because Project Man, he's uh, doing his car stuff and he does what? Nothing. He does nothing. We thought Stacey might want to go because she's got an air fryer and she's a pretty good cook as well. And she does cakes and stuff, and that's another story. A cake's vegetarian. You can be. Yeah, of course they are, yeah. Mm. I ain't got meat in them. Well, yeah, they're good. Well, mince meat, maybe? I don't know. They wouldn't be vegan. No, they're not unless vegan. Unless you you're made doing them vegetarians. Yeah. You can do yeah. Those. yeah. So we're going to be having a new channel, which I think we have to promote you, Stacey. Yeah? Is that all right? Yeah. And you're going to be called? Vegetastic Mum. Vegetastic Mum. Yeah. And the idea of that as well, folks, is that obviously we want to feed our kids healthier food sort of thing. I haven't to say you've got to be vegetarian to eat it, no, no. but things like, for example, a flan cheese and onion pasties, for example. Now, they're vegetarian, but people, normal meat eaters, eat them as well. And there's loads of other stuff as well that you can eat. But as I say, Stacey's done a bit of background work on this, and she's going to be taking that forward. So that'll be Vegetastic Mum. That's coming up very shortly. Keep an eye out for that one, and we're going to obviously be promoting that one as well. So uh, that's Stacey. She might get more videos out than Gary. And who's running that? Well, I've got to run two channels now, and I? Unbelievable. Here, look, it's baby Frank. Look, Charlotte. Look. January, look. Oh, look at his little face, look. Bless his oh, Look at your little face, baby, look. Oh, it's busy today. Hey, you're busy. Yeah, I'll show you the van, come on. Oh, can we go, can we, yeah, we can show this because it's on Sunday's vlog. When's this video coming out? Probably tonight or tomorrow. Right, so he's just done his uh, roof lining, folks. You know he's doing a van build. And uh, I've got the ST back under the carport, folks, so I've got to get on with this. It's so cold out here at the moment. But what happened with this, the... Um, the roof lining and all the trim was all beige colour because he's done the dark, stealthy sort of background uh, in the back sort of thing. Let's go have a look at it. He's had it all out. You see it on his channel. Oh, that, oh, oh, yes. It was that colour, wasn't it? Look at that. Yeah, see the trim here? That beige colour. This trim up, look at that ceiling, look. It's now black. All these were beige as well. All these sun visors and that, look. All been taken off and repainted. Look at that. It's really stealthy now, isn't it? So there you go. So that's what he's done there. You'll see that on his channel. And uh, just open the back door. So look. Oh, it's not like Lee Van Camp's van, is it? No. Touch lighting. Look. Look at that. Look. The yeah, sun's coming in there. There we go. So yeah. Now you've decided in here. Yeah. But what are you doing with this workshop here? Well, I've actually a company have reached out to me. They're going to send me a 12 volt call box. Oh right. So that'll be living somewhere, maybe under there, or I might keep the toilet there, but I'm going to put a sink here, I think, because if later date I do get a set of a fridge, right. it'll impede on the, the fridge unit. Right, so okay. There'll be a sink here. I'll use my portable gas burners. I'm not going to sink a... Yeah, we're not going to put a hob in. A lot of people put a hob in, folks, which is okay, but in a small van, like these three, although this is a long wheelbase one, space is obviously at a... a, a, a what's the word? A, a, a precedence? Spaces of a, a pre whatever it is, whatever the word is. It's valuable. So rather than waste the worktop area there, we'll keep the worktop. And he's got one of them portable ones we we do the cooking on. And whenever you want it, just take it out of the cupboard and put it on top. Because you're only going to be cooking when you're sitting still anyway, aren't you? Oh, yeah. So it's not as if you can have it moving about on the counter. And that way you get to have a whole counter-free sort of thing if you're doing other things like gaming or whatever. Not that you do gaming anyway, do you? Oh, of course no, he, 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 he does go gaming, folks. He does. Oh, yeah, do that, yeah. Of course he does. We've got to do a check here, folks. Look. Now, you've all seen Lee Van Camps, yeah? Right? Let's have a look. How's that come out of there? Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. 
Oh, it's only clean, folks. Look, you don't believe Van Camp? He had a big dirty mark there. Look, hey, okay. eh? no, leave Van Camp. Oh, you want to show everything, do you? Yeah, I've got nothing to hide. Look, <laughs> it's all clean. Look. Oh. <laughs> Lee Van Camp keeps his bog roll in his drawer, right under his sink unit. Yeah, I know, I've seen his urinal, look. <laughs> What's his urinal? Summit along here. Oh, he's called the sink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Never eat in his van, folks. If you ever go out to Lee Van Camp, never eat in his van, that's all I'll say. But he's going to be clearing it up very, very shortly. He's assured me, because I told him, he wants to start doing a bit of work in his van. You know, he's going to do the cleaning up of it and all that. And then he's going to start doing a little few reviews I've told him about anyway. So that's coming on there. Right, this is very nice anyway. Are you keeping it or what? Well, we're going to Scotland in it next month. We're so going to Scotland in it. Trip. It's first proper road trip, we'll folks. film it on the way. Of course you will. And as I say, having a diesel eater in here, you've got no problems about temperature now, have you? No, I've just run out of diesel though. Of course you have. Keep your hands off of mine. But if you watch my blinking videos, you'll probably know that you can burn kerosene in there. Now, there's a lot of debate about kerosene. Uh, house fuel, which I never knew about. I didn't know you could burn house fuel in these little di uh, diesel generators, which I've proved on my other channel. And house, fu house fuel is basically, you've got diesel, you've got house fuel, and then you've got kerosene. Apparently house fuel and diesel have got more lubricant in them. Kerosene has got less lubricant, and they reckon on engines, like diesel engines for example, you need, because they're high pressure pumps and all that, you need a lot of lubrication, and kerosene hasn't got that. A lot of people say, with your little little ticking pump you got with your diesel eaters. Yeah, old cash for cars, get the Bondeo out there. Just add a little bit of oil to it, so a lot of people have been doing that as well. But my diesel eater's been running fine on it, folks. So yeah, look at the ice on this, look, look. This is how cold it is out here, folks. Look at that, look. That's a hard frost there, folks. And during this sort of weather, I don't want to be working on the Mondeo. Not at the moment, anyway. So I don't know how long this cold snap's going to be here, but um, that's what we're dealing with at the moment, folks. Hard times in the UK. Minus two out here. It's another day, folks. You can see out there, still frost on the grass. Minus two out there. And I've just come into the living room. Oh, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it, Chef? And look what she's done, look. He's cold, he was shivering. Look. She said he was shivering, look. I'm looking at him, baby. <laughs> With all that fur on, Sharon. He's shivering. He's shivering. Oh, he's you poor little dog. sod. He's a cypress dog. dog. Uh, he? It's one o'clock in the afternoon and we ain't had the eating on. We can't have the eating on because of the ridiculous price of the bills. Here, Tracy's here, look. She's got snow. You're in Scotland, Tracy. How's it up there? Oh, put that phone up there. Really Hold on, put that picture up there. Really cold. You got your heating on? Uh, no. no. <laughs> What's this like, Sharon? 21st century living, isn't it? Torture, but as long as my dog's warm, I'm all yeah. right. Hey, baby. We've we got the fire on, folks, but uh, we burn cardboard. Cardboard gives you a quick fix of sort of heat, but our fire's going down to a minimum now because we're going out in a minute, so uh, that's why we've let it die down. We've got out to get We've had it all down. We're going outside to get warm, Sharon. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's jumping on shadows, isn't you? Look, look, look at him, look. He ain't shivering. You watch him, Sharon, look. Look, see if, it, see if we can make him do it. Merlin, look. See if he'll jump. That's not my phone, is it? Is he going to do it? Are you going to try? No, no, leg up, look. Oh, what a, what a, what a life, Sharon. Hey, but lucky enough, we're, we're, well, we're one of the lucky ones, aren't we? We're, well, I say we're young, we're not blinking young, are we? We're nearly no, pensioners. No, well, we are. I'll be 60 this you year. Speak for yourself, love. You speak for yourself. And here we are having to do this in the 21st century, folks. Now, the world's run by experts, as we're now. But look at the state these experts have got blinking the world in, Sharon, haven't they? Oh. Merlin, will you stop it? You wanted to show them. No, I don't want him scratching the carpet, Sharon. He's chasing shadows, folks, didn't he? Look. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, 21st century living, folks. Who would have thought this would have been like this? I remember when technology first took off in the 60s, although I was, I was there, I was only just born, but I've seen the videos, and they said by the 21st century, we'll have all this automation, everything will be happy, rosy. The people who's been running the world have, have buggered it up. Warm, take control, warm. folks. You've got to take control. Keep yourself warm. Unfortunately, this is hopefully only be for a couple of months more. And um, do everything you can. That's all I can say to you. 
We're watching, uh, we don't watch mainstream TV no more. Look, again, look who we're watching again. Northerners on tour, look. And we're watching Robin Lynn next. We're and Robin Lynn. Show. Yeah, we've got, we've got a procedure. Normally, we used to sit down in, in the living room show, didn't we? Of an evening, we used to watch the soaps, EastEnders, Coronation Street, watch a bit of the, a game show or whatever was on. We don't watch all that rubbish no more. We watch real people on YouTube, and they, they, they put together videos so well now, people, that uh, it's like watching the programme anyway. And you can believe and trust what they say, because they do show their personalities. Lisa and Mark there, Northerners on tour, and also Rob and Lynn we watch as well. Again, nice people, people you can associate with, people like us. Not like the false people you get on thinking, daytime TV. Now and again, Sharon... Hey. Oh, look at them too. Look, Phil and Ollie, look. When you put the telly on and you see all these people What's on there. What's that other one you keep, you keep? He's on every advert. What's his name? Who's that, Sharon? With the teeth. Oh, Ryland Clark. Oh, Have you seen this? No disrespect to him, but he's, he's got life wrong. He's, 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 all that stuff he's had done to his face and all that. And have you seen a picture of Simon Cowell recently? He's off. He's stuck. What's he done all that money? He's taken into... Oh, I don't know, Sharon. I don't know. The world's gone mad, Sharon. And people... Or, <laughs> or should they call sheeple? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look, baby Frank's just coming in. Merlin, come away from baby Frank. Ah, Charlotte is going to work, Charlotte, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, put that fire guard on, sure. Hello, look, come say hello to everybody. They haven't seen you. I say we're going, we're going outside, Charlotte, to get warm. <laughs> look, hello. Come over here. Not you, Merlin. All right, love. Merlin loves Frank, doesn't you, Frank? We gotta go shopping, don't we? Go shopping. We're going shopping, Frank. Yeah. So while Charlotte's going to work, we're going out in the warm or sit in the car to get warm. Put the heater on in the car. Anyway, we'll see you in a minute, folks. Well, it'd be a minute for you, but it'll probably be a while for us. He's a nutcase, isn't he? Look, look at him. Right. Look, 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 here we come. Look, here we go. Look. We got a problem with Merlin, don't we, Sharon? Merlin, come here. What's that what's our problem, Sharon? What's that? What do you keep doing? Going in the bin. Look. Yeah, you know. And it's not usually open no, like that. No, the bin's just been put up there. The bin normally stands there. We've got the normal bin, we've got the recycling bin there. But how many times we've come out and it's all oh. all over the floor, aren't we? Yeah, he never does it, perfect dog. So we've had to uh, get I, another bin. And I, it's just arrived. And uh, you're very happy it's come. Because we can burn the box. Because you can burn in. the box and get some instant heat. So let's have a look. I haven't seen this yet, folks. I don't know what type of... Uh, I'm hoping this will work. It better do, shall, because he, he can open it. It's upside down, isn't it? Come on, let's have a look. That's a nice big one. Well, I did go for the size as well. Let's have a look. How does this operate? Ah, uh, that's buggered you, isn't it? Shall shut it down? How's it open? Oh, he ain't going to be able to do that, is he? Don't do it in front of him, because he learns. He, he does learn. He's a very intelligent he boy. He is a very intelligent boy, especially when he's uh, scavenging. Oh, well, can I have a look? Look, Merlin. That's how you do it, mate. Don't show him! Don't look! <laughs> he'll, nudge his, he'll nudge his chin on that, shall you? Watch. Right. What? Well, people here we're talking about, Merlin. Oh, go on in. Yeah. Right, so, yeah, we just found out. So, what, what have we got here, baby? So, these are for my boys. And these are from... Here he comes, on cue. He knows, he knows what they Pauline are. Pauline Roberts. So, Dougal and Merlin, thank you very much. He's now brought me his bowl for him to put a few in. <laughs> Thanks, Pauline. They're going to really love him. They do love a dog chew. We give them one every morning. So, um, that's that. What else we got there, baby? We'd also like to thank you for our super chats. We'd like to thank Salt669. Thanks, Salty Boy. Laura Haywood. Thank you, Laura. And Sally McLean. And thanks very much, Sally, thank for supporting our much. channel. Yeah. Every little penny does help with these. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to open them. Give them a chew each and then put the bin in the kitchen and hopefully he won't be able to get in there anymore. Sit down. Come in. Sit. Sit. You want crocodile? Sit. And you have crocodile. Go on, there you go. Off you go. Sit. Right, Thank Mummy. Thank you, Pauline. We're doing a bit of work in the house, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to do some decorating in the hall. I love decorating, so yeah. I'm looking forward so to that. I've just taken all the doors off. Let's just show you, folks. Coming through. You can't see. It's a bit dark, I know, but... Um, all these doors in the hallway there, as you can see, these are all dark brown. They've been like that years, just stained wood or whatever. But uh, we're doing all the papering in here and lighting it, brightening the hallway up a bit. It's a little bit dark, but um, as you can see, the cupboard doors have got to be painted and uh, we're going to get them rubbed down and sorted out. The door frames are going to be white gloss and they're actually going to be white in colour. Sharon's got this sort of a, a grey, I don't really like grey myself in, on the wall, but... I heard that as I was walking. Grey, you're going grey and silver, aren't you? Yeah. 
So that's what, it up here that's what we're well. going to do that. So um, that's that. We've got a lot of grey in the house now, and I think it looks really nice and fresh, to be honest with you. I thought grey was a bit horrible, but the more I see it, the more I like it. Yeah. The more I see you, baby, the more I like you. Oh, that's good. Give us a kiss, then. Give us a kiss. <laughs> right, OK. Right, we're going to carry on, folks, and we'll see you a little bit later on. Oh, well, here we are the day of the video. The day of the video. The day of the upload today, folks, and um, it's well, still... Sunday. Sunday, yeah. <laughs> It's still absolutely freezing out, so uh, again, we've got a real fire going there. We've got a little uh, kerosene heated fire there. We've been using our um, induction hob, and someone mentioned this to us. I didn't actually quite believe it. Let's just show you. They said if you put some tissue paper underneath and put your kettle or pans or whatever on top, it won't scratch. And I thought, well, that's not going to work, is it? Because that will blink, burn, or catch light. But if you turn it on, and let's just turn it up to maximum. We just turn that on and I'll let that boil in front of you and you'll be able to see that this doesn't get burnt. Now what we got here, Sharon, you're doing a bit of kicking, cooking. What we got in there? Gammon. Oh, look at that, folks. That gammon sizzling away the there, look. And you notice she's put it in the little um, silicone trays there. We don't always do it on the crisper tray and it works just as well, providing you turn it over halfway. It's got lines on it, so it's not sitting in hey? the back anyway. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, if you open that one up, you can see that they've got oh, their ridges there, so it's the, the fat actually sits underneath, so it's not sitting in its fat, but you ain't got no circulation, that's the only thing, but nor have you in a real oven, Sharon, have you? No. In that, we never used to have to worry about that's the crisper tray. tray isn't it? So it just goes on a baking tray, that's right. So yeah, we're, we're using this now, and we absolutely love how quickly it boils. Now, we've had a few people say, yeah, but the test you've done was only about quickness. So I put one pint of water in my kettle, and it boiled in one minute 30 seconds or one minute 25 seconds. Yeah, it will do, because it's a three kilowatt element. This is 1800 watts, so it's half that. It may work out cheaper, it may not. We'll know that at the end of January's bill. But we like the things about cooking with this is, and someone else mentioned it, uh, I think it was a chef who said that a lot of kitchens now, industrial kitchens, have gone over to using induction hobs because open flame cooking or hot plates where they radiate heat, it warms the kitchen up. And, and what? We could do this some of the heat Well, we could do that today, I know, because you don't get no heat off of that. You don't actually get no heat. So that's one of the benefits of working with that. And also, the, you haven't got an open flame where something can accidentally, like a bit of paper, be next to it, or a packet like that, for example. But it's good for kids. And could catch. And as you say, kids, for example, who may be up here touching stuff or whatever, not that you're going to have them in the kitchen anyway, but accidents, accidents do happen. happen. But that totally amazed me, this, when um, I put that paper under there, tissue paper, just basic uh, kitchen roll, and it don't catch a light. It's amazing. We'll show you that now. It's nearly near it boiling. Look, there we go. Look, we're on 1800 watts at the moment. So we'll just get that. Let's move them potatoes out of the way. That potato's not for me and Sharon, by the way. That's for Jimmy and Charlotte. Frank. And baby Frank. So let's have a little look at that. Should start to whistle in a minute, folks. Here we go. Look at that, look. Get ready. And when it comes to a boil, it really does pump it out. Here we go, let's turn it off. And you can see that, look, that paper's underneath that, folks, look. I'm just gonna take that off of there for the moment. That was just a bit of food stain, what we've had before, but look. Nothing there. And look at my hand, look. I know I'm putting on the paper because there will be transfer of heat. But look, look at that, look. That's just boiled a kettle. Absolutely amazing. So that's one of the benefits. So even if it doesn't work out any cheaper than gas, for the extra safety factor and also the, 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 the lack of heat that it gives off, cook, warming up your kitchen. No, I know you, we want it warm at the moment, I know, but, but you get what I'm saying there. So it's got a few lovely little features there, which I was unaware of. I didn't realise that. And so look, I'm putting my hand on where that's just heated up now. Absolutely fantastic. And we've had people say, oh, you know, electrics is... Uh, uh, 34 pence a kilowatt hour, gas is 9 pence or whatever. And we've already proved that the, the gas on the, the cooker is a lot slower because the, the, the BTU rating is a lot lower than the butane rating. And I don't care, I've got to wear with a watch. I know how to read it, I know what the time says, but I don't need to know how the watch, watch works. We'll know at the end of the month. If our bills stay the same, I'm happy. I'm happy with the extra features and the speed that cooks at. Someone said, oh, your kettle's prehistoric. That's going back a bit, you using one of That's these. That's a new kettle. 
it's a brand new kettle, not only that, not only that, yeah, but they're saying, what they were saying was, shall, using that over an electric kettle, three, but an electric kettle, three kilowatt. I do yeah. have one, but it's in the cupboard. Yeah, we've got one, of course we've got a kettle. I do have one but before. Always. People tend to comment on the video, what they're watching, and forgetting what the backstory is as well, because they only, they only, it's like what I used to say about a goalkeeper, Sharon. No matter how good of a goalkeeper you are, you're only as good as the last goal you let in. That's the one that people remember. And that's very, very true. Anyway, I'm not ranting, Shell. Are you sure? I'm not ranting, baby. Right, so yeah, Shell, I was just going to say hello. We just uh, we go for our comments and we'll read them all. What we found there, baby? Hello from Marlene from Portsmouth. I'm sorry that you've not been well for a while, really. And welcome to our channel, and we're glad you're loving it. Yeah, hello, Marlene. You're feeling better, Marlene. Marlene, I know. I knew, I knew you were going to say that, Sharon. Sorry, sorry. I knew you were going to say and that. I don't know how many times Marlene's had those. I know, I know. Right, so you're doing Sunday roast. What have we got for dinner today? Uh, we've got pork today, and I'm just making... So what's that gammon for in there? We don't have ham. We don't buy shop raw ham, do we? Oh, right, that's not what we do with the dinner then. No. So Sunday uh, is a roast day in our uh, house, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah, Jimmy doesn't really like pork. So what's I'm this gonna... garlic for then? This is for the garlic mayo, because later on this week... Oh, we've got... come out in a couple of weeks. Yep. Homemade. No, not a couple of weeks. Oh, is it, when does it come out? It'll be out next week. Oh, it'll be out next week. It will be a kebab, but done in the 15 in 1 in the pressure cooker. The 15 in 1, that's right. So, as you well know, folks, I'll tell you what, now that kettle's boiled, I might as well have a cup of tea. Yeah, I'll have one in it. As you well know, we've just got the 15 in 1, we're still learning on it, and uh, we've had a couple of people say, oh, I thought we were going to get more 15 in 1 recipes. Well, yeah, you are, but we've got to learn the different procedures. The three main procedures you've got with it, is the normal, when you slide the lever this way, that's the normal cooking, like the air frying cooking, shall it does? Yeah. And the a sauteing, and then you put the position in the middle, and that's and called steam, steam roast, isn't it? Which we've actually got a, a, a couple of videos now. We done... Um, I do my usually me Sunday joint. Over there, baby. Oh, I do my Sunday joint on the steam roast every week now. Yeah. And also by pushing it further that way, that is your pressure cooking, which we're working on at the moment. Yeah, my daughter done a beef stew the other day. And I said, Tracy, it'd be 30 minutes. She done it and she couldn't believe it. Like, yeah. Well, we can't still believe it, yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah. So we are, we are going to bring some of them to you folks yeah. very, very shortly. But bear with us. As I say, we're, we're pumping out what we can. We're predominantly getting the uh, air fryer. And also we're using this hob a lot more now. So, um, you know, just expect a few more stuff with these now. The camping stoves we're still keeping, as we've mentioned here before because we're going to be doing maybe some outside cooking and also if there's a power cut as well, yeah. they will come, handy for, come in handy for that. Right, so what are you doing there, baby? Well, make your own garlic mayo. Believe me, you can have, call that garlic that's going in my mayo. I'll we'll be having this tomorrow I and can, it, I can smell it from here. kick to it. But yeah, that kebab, that, we've actually done it before, actually. It totally I've amazed done me. We've done a to test. test we got that kebab, what we've done, the, 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 the Donner kebab, and we've done it in that thing on pressure cook and it was done. I think it was 30 minutes on pressure cook, then 20 minutes on air fry. Yeah, you didn't have to do the air fry a bit, but we just wanted it browned off on the surface. Quite a few of you have mentioned that if you, you can put it in the air fryer and brown it off that way. So but you're getting a takeaway kebab in an hour, and sometimes when you ring up, you've got to wait an hour. It takes an hour as well, yeah. yeah. So we've gone again for 1.5 kilograms. That cost about 18 pounds, yeah, Sharon, didn't yeah. it, of lamb mince. Now you can buy it cheaper. You can get it from your local supermarket lamb mince in packets. Uh, about 500 grams is about four and a half, five quid, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it's not quite the same. Although it probably, you could do that, you could yeah. use it, so, but we like to support the local butchers and it does make a fantastic well, lamb kebab. We've got good butchers by us, aren't we? We're very lucky, a lot of people yeah. haven't got the butchers by them. Yeah. So keep your eye out for that one coming up. Keep your eye out for the Chinese style spare ribs. Oh, Again, yeah. what we've done in the slow cooker before. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper Chinese spare ribs. And also, rather than chips, we're doing <coughs> celeriac chips. If you've never had celeriac before, it's an ugly looking thing, isn't it, Sharon? Yeah. Looks like the ood out of Doctor Who. And uh, so keep an eye out for that. Let's just put that on again. I love how quickly this works, folks, look. Just turn it on. Oh, I've turned it right down minimum. Put it on the maximum. So yeah, these hobs, are absolutely fantastic and in the that kitchen. Tissue, they said it just protects them. Yeah, that's the reason why. But I was so dubious about putting a bit of tissue but on there. Apparently, Stacey said she's bought special covers. You can buy covers for them. You, well, I need them, Shell. A bit of it. tissue works. That kitchen roll she works for me. You didn't know that at the time, did yeah. you? She bought when she got her hob. Yeah. Yeah. So sorry about this log. Isn't this log? This vlog oh. isn't about as long as what we normally do, but well, um, 
ever been against this baby? We're yep. Not well, you just want to stay in and keep warm, basically. Yeah, I've got yeah. work to do out in the log cabin. I've got, a, funny enough, I'm going to be doing a review on a generator, which we've got hold of now, which is on not on this channel, on our um, Retro Restore channel. I'll leave a link just below this video, folks, for my Retro Restore channel. Get over there. We've reviewed the diesel heater on there, which is a great way to keep warm. My log cabin's toasty now in there. And just in case of power cuts, we have got three freezers in this house. And one of your biggest issues, if you do get a power cut, which we've been told we could get due to cutbacks in this cold weather, is losing all your freezer full of food. And bearing in mind, we've got three freezers. You could just stick it out in the garden. Well, just put it outside, yeah, Shell. That's a good idea. That's very true. I never thought of that, Shell. We, we didn't need a generator. <laughs> but no, in all honesty, you know, you, you, you could have a lot of money invested in a, in a freezer. So... Uh, we got this generator. We're going over and retro restore. Give it a sub if you have not over, if you've not been over there before. That's where I do all my restoration stuff, repairs, all, all sort of loads of stuff. I do a lot of blokey stuff in a shed. If you not stuff. Well, my well. I mean, that's blokey stuff. I do girly stuff in the kitchen, but he keeps coming in and interfering. Shut up, baby. <laughs> anyway. He's only human. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and we're glad that you were uh, stuck with us over the Christmas period because yeah. we did have a week off and. Um, Oh, we have almond milk in our tea, by the way. That's what we have, folks. Unsweetened version. I mentioned about dairy being an infl how it inflames the inside of your body. So we had this message coming from a subscriber, folks, and it reads, Hi, Martin and Sharon. I very rarely comment on YouTube, but this time I feel I have to. I've been a long-time viewer, and you are the reason I bought an air fryer. In fact, now I have three, LOL. More importantly for me, I decided to take your advice on a low-carb diet, and especially after Martin said it was good for inflammation and joints, etc. Although I was a little sceptical, I thought I'd give it a go. And boy, was you correct. My arthritis in my knees has subsided to an amazing level so far that I have re managed to reduce my medication drastically, which for me is amazing. And I am losing weight as well. So I'm over the moon. So thank you both again. I am so glad I took your advice and I rec recommend it to anyone. So there you go, folks. What people don't realise is apart from the dairy, in grains, grains give you inflammation inside in your intestines and your bowels or whatever. This isn't my words, this is online doctors that I've been following for quite a while and I do research this. There's a lot of disinformation out there and there is a lot of information, but nine times out of 10, when you go down to your local general practitioner and you're given a 10 minute window to talk to your doctor, nine times out of 10, you'll tell them what's wrong, they'll, put, they'll provide you with a medication, and what that will do, that will treat the symptoms and not the cause. In other words, if you suffer with indigestion, they will give you an, uh, a, an, ant an antacid or something like that, and treat the, the symptom, but they won't get to the cause, they won't find out why, so and that's pr predominantly what happens when you visit a GP. Exactly the same with uh, an inflammation of a joint, for example. They'll treat the inflammation by giving you anti-inflammation medication, but they won't eliminate the cause or tell you what the possible cause is. There are doctors online that tell you that. So I'll leave the names below of some doctors that you should check out on YouTube. I mean, all I basically do, I'm not a doctor at the end of the day, I'm just telling you what I've found out and what's worked for me and can point you in a direction so that you can research and uh, listen to the experts talking to possibly convince you that uh, the way that you're being treated may or may not be the correct way uh, for your benefit. Hostilically. Host hostilically, shall? I think that's whole body, isn't it? Holistically, holistically yeah. Holistically, that's the word, yeah. So do check out, and thank you very much for that subscriber who came and left that message, because it's really good. And I get many messages like that. There was another chap there who said that he'd stopped drinking milk, or another, no, sorry, another chap, there was another young lady who stopped drinking milk, and within a week, her arthritis had gone down so much that she could actually be pain-free. Now that's amazing when you think, and all you've done is cut out something which has been inflaming the internals in your body. And most wheat-based products do that, most grain products, most uh, dairy products do that as well. It may seem hard to give that stuff up, folks, but we've only been told to eat it from uh, big manufacturers who mass-produce food because it's easy and it's flavorful as well. I'm starting ranting, Shall. Can I just show them that? Oh, that's the gammon joint, it. That's, now, that's a, I think that's about £3.50 in Lidl. Yeah, £3.50 in Lidl. Well, you pay for a packet of ham. Yeah. Now, normally what she does, she'll put that under the, stand it up, and then crisp that up in the air for a while, because that even crisps up as well sometimes, yeah, shall, not it? Yeah, crisp up. But that's fantastic. So what we would... pork today, so you don't need that. Yeah, so what we would do, we'd slice that now, put that in the... <laughs> oh, what happened there? The stream goes out. Yeah, sorry. 
<laughs> what we would do now, hold on, let's get you around now. Let's get you in, baby. What we would do now is oh, that. Oh, of course, they're cold shower. I'm a cold person at the moment. Come on, baby, I'll give you a massage. Jesus what we would do now is we'd slice that very, very thinly and then put it in a Tupperware box in the fridge, and that is our sliced ham. And if ever you do get a bit peckish, don't be tempted by a cake or a biscuit. You stop buying that sort of stuff anyway. But then you can have a slice of ham. Have a. Have a, have a uh, uh, what, what is it, Cheryl? I just had a blinking avocado this morning, I was hungry. And we had some bacon. We just whacked some bacon in there for 12 minutes and have a few sheets of bacon. And that's what we've been doing, Cheryl. This stuff, cabbage, absolutely fantastic for you. It's called a cruciferous vegetable. That's for the kebab and all. That's for the kebab. We shards all that up yeah. with the uh, salad leaves and all that. that. Yeah, just tries to make it. Cut it thinly, like shards, shards, shards. Make it and put it in the uh, Tupperware box and that'll be ready for tomorrow, won't it? Yeah. So that's what you're doing there. Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely pair you got there, baby, on, the, on your top. It's avocado, love, it's not a pair. Well, a pair is an avocado, oh, okay, Sharon. Yeah, okay. yeah, so uh, cruciferous vegetables. You can have as much as that as you like. That white crispy cabbage. You can have broccoli, cruciferous vegetables. You can have uh, Brussels sprouts, leafy greens, cow and all that sort of stuff. Uh, cauliflower. Don't have mash, have cauliflower mashed up. Get a big cauliflower, mash that up, and that, celeriac, use that. Celeriac, if you don't like cauliflower. So yeah, celeriac, again, these are all sort of, although that's strictly not quite right, that's a, a root vegetable, yeah, celeriac. I'm low carb, I'm I know low that. Carb. I'm just saying, cruciferous vegetables are the leafy green ones, or, or broccoli and all that sort of stuff. Have as much as that you want, folks, and put gravy over it. Have it with your meat on your plate, and have gravy on it, and that's just that simple. Yeah, don't have it on the floor, have it on your plate. <laughs> <sighs> Where, where, would, you put it? where would you put it, baby? <laughs> I, don't know. I think it's time we went, Cher. I think it's time, yeah, you went. I've got to get this video uploaded, folks, so we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, do take a look at our backlog of videos as well. Have a little binge watch of them. And uh, a lot of you have been doing that and enjoying them as well. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video next week. And it will be Monday. And I think that one's going to be the no. Chinese style spare rib. Not Monday, Tuesday, sorry. Chinese salt style, and salt and pepper ribs. Like, with... share and subscribe and come on silent viewers, just subscribe. You don't have to do nothing else, just subscribe. Them, Help us get it up. Them dogs are fighting, fam. No, they're I'm not fighting, they're playing. Play fighting. Right, we'll see you later, folks. Thanks very much and we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye. Bye for now, get the kettle on, baby. Oh, you have done. Forgot I didn't see you move so far, Shay. You're like grease lightning. And get a hold of the head lifter and the four bell pods, oh yeah.